It started out as a brother's desperate plea for his sister's safe return home. Yeah, I want my sister back home. That's what going through my mind. Hope wherever she was that she would return safe. But uh, hey, what the, come on. Suddenly, in the middle of my interview. Oh, oh something happened. Something done happened, babe. Family what? friends had discovered Fairley's body just two miles away what? from her home. She down there in that field on David's car. Huh? Oh, no. Yeah, she right there laying in the field. Laying in the field. Lord Jesus Christ. My God. Lay, sister, I got Family members and friends can't believe this tragedy has happened to someone they say would give anything to help someone in need. Oh, Frankie was one of the sweetest person in the world. You know, she always worked in the church, I'd do anything for anybody in the neighborhood, upstanding neighbor, you know, do anything for you, get up out of her bed for you. I mean, just, just, I, I can't believe something like this happened to Frankie, you know. And you know, around this time of the year, you would think, you know, things, do happen, but just to certain people, you know, maybe <sighs> just such a hurting feeling, you know, and you know, listening to her daughter say that she won't be able to see her graduate. She had three kids in school that hadn't graduated. One is a senior and one is now babies in the 10th grade. And both of them look at each other and said they won't be able to graduate. She won't see them graduate for somebody to take their mom's life like that. And you're just a person that you know.